What's up guys, hope you all are doing great. In this video, we're going to create a simple Matplotlib animation example. Now let's get started. The first thing we'll do as usual, I have my project already. The way to create a project, you go to File, New Project if you're using PyCharm. And after that, we just right click right here, click on New and Python file. I'm gonna call mine main. You can call it whatever you want yours to be. Now that we've done this, let me just give you a simple explanation of what Matplotlib is, why we're using it, and the different things you can also use it for. Matplotlib is a Python 2D plotting library and it's very popular. And a really cool part about Matplotlib is that you can use it for data visualization. And the whole point of this is that with data visualization, you can see the beginning to the end of whatever you're doing. You want to show the whole process of how it starts to how it also ends. Another question you might have is what other things can you use Matplotlib for? Well, you can use it to create plots, histograms, power spectra, bar diagrams, blunder outline, scatter plotting, and so many more. So it's very, very versatile. Now let's talk about the example we're going to create here. We'll need these two interfaces to actually achieve our goal. And the first one is funk animation. And funk animation basically repeatedly calls a function. And the second one is the artist animation, which creates fixed set of artist objects. Now I'm just going to put a comment here, which says import modules. The first module we need to import is NumPy. So we'll say NumPy as NP. And the second module we need to import is of course, matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And what we'll also import is, as we said, the interfaces. We'll say from matplotlib.animation, we want to import funk animation. In the description below, you will get a link that will take you to a web page. In that web page, all you do is you copy the commands for this module, you click on your terminal, and you paste it on your terminal right here and that will make sure you have them installed. The next thing we'll do is we'll use the plt.figure to actually create our new figure. After we've created our plt.figure, what we need to do next is we need to use the plt.axis to add an axis to the current figure and make it its current axis. And how we make that work is that we use the xlim and the ylim to actually set the axis limit. Now let me show you, I say ax is equal to plt, dot axis and as its input parameters we say xlim and we say xlim is equal to we'll say 0 and 4 and also ylim is equal to negative 2 and 2 After this, what we do next is that we plot the y versus x as markers using the axplot method. And here we pass the bo in the third argument to plot the x and y using blue circle markers. Okay guys, let me show you. So we say ln, say ln is equal to ax.plot. And here we have it like this, two empty to empty list and the third argument is BO. What we do now is we need to store the X and the Y axis points using an empty list. So X data and Y data is equal to an empty list, an empty list like this. Now we get into the point where we need to draw the clear frame and to do that we'll create a function and after that we'll use the ax.setxlim method to create the x-axis view and we'll do the same thing for also the y-axis. We'll also need numpy np.py to actually create a curve. So let me show you. Create a function, we'll call it def init. And here we'll say ax.set underscore xlim. 0 0.2 multiplied by np.py and we do the same thing as.set underscore ylim say negative 1 and 1 what we do next is we just return ln so what we're doing here is we're going to create a function to actually create the matplotlib animation. And to make this possible, we'll set blit equals to true to return an iterable of all the artists that we modified or created. Now for plt.figure, we need to actually put in a variable called fig. 
And after this, we need to create a function called update. And here it's going to take as its input frame. Here we'll set x data. And what we do here is we're going to append to x data. So we'll say x data dot append. We'll append frame. And for y data, we're going to append np dot sign frame. So let me show you. Finally, we say lin dot set underscore data. And here we say x data and also y data. Ellen. What we can do here now is we'll say anim is equal to funk animation. Here we'll put fig, then update. We're not calling all the update, we're referring to it. And we set frame to mp dot line space 0 0.2 multiplied by np dot pi. And then we say 1 to 8. After we set our init func, we set it to our init function and then blitz, we set it to true. Now to show the animation, we need to say plt.show. Here we need to just put this dot right here, this comma right here, and another bug right here. This is a comma, not a dot. It's not 0 0.2, it's 0 and 2. And also here yeah, it should be zero dot two. Zero comma two, not zero point two. Yeah, so make sure that you put all the corrections so your code works out. What we just need to do now is run it. And you can see it happen. So you see the starting point and you see the process of it creating this sine wave. And it's just amazing what you can do. And you can see we chose blue. You could change your color for sure, but this is the cool things you can do with matplotlib animation, which makes it so diverse and it really makes it able to create those visualization data. And you can see the endpoint. So this is really amazing. Hopefully you got your code working out well. Now I'm going to show you two other projects that I find really cool. You can see this. And you can see this right here, how cool this is. And they're all hitting each other. They're all elevating. It's a really nice. It's about orbits. And yeah, I'll leave the documentation, documentation about it. I don't really know much about it, but I found this animation. And this is just to show you the different things you can do in Matplotlib. But for beginners, for sure, it's good to start with what we started with. So you actually understand the whole concept behind it. Now, the next one is this double pendulum. You can see how this just jumps down and it really looks good for the eyes. But each time you run this code, it's going to jump in a different place because you use gravity and other units to actually make this possible. So this is another thing you can do with Matplotlib that is really amazing. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Like the video, guys. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you on the next one.